This is Leah E with Caraboom.com standing here with JD Stewart from Jazz and Bloom Ignited. He is the host for the evening. JD, how to how are you? I'm doing great. Um, actually, we had a great time tonight. Um, I think last year's concert, it featured Miss Anushka Wright, and this year we got the opportunity to feature a few other uh, pianists, players, musicians, singers. I, I think we got the opportunity to kind of push the envelope in terms of creativity this year, and I'm pleased. Yes, you, you hosted last year as well. Um, so I know we, we they featured different artists last year as well and they did fly in Christian Sands. His name is Mr. Christian Sands, he's a pianist. Um, yes, last year. This year they featured Mr. Dennis Ham. He's from Los Angeles, California. And this year they also uh, featured a new singer by the name of Angel Reckley. She's out of Freeport, Grand Bahama. Um, and I think uh, this year, just like last year, they're getting the opportunity to showcase some different faces within the jazz community in the Bahamas. We know the jazz community here in the Bahamas, it's not that big, but they have some really strong voices within the community. Last year, Josh Lines, excellent singer. This year, uh, we had Angel Reckley. Mm -hmm. Osano actually was also there too. And also this year they had Naomi Taylor. So yeah, we're getting some, some, some good reviews from the persons that were here at Jazz and Bloom this year for Jazz and Bloom Ignited. So you yourself are a keyboard and a pianist. So what genre would you say that you um, fit in or do you, you know, what do you, what would you, how would you describe your pianism? <laughs> my, uh, uh, my, I think f for me, I've had to, uh, play in as many genres as possible. I've tried to keep myself as, I guess, versed in as many styles as possible. Um, being here in the Bahamas, you have to be diverse to get the jobs. And so um, playing in gospel, playing in uh, rake and scrape, playing in jazz, playing in neo soul, um, various other genres, it kind of keeps the chops up. Um, it helps to make uh, for a very diverse uh, sound when you play. So yeah, I've had to play in very, a, a whole lot of genre of music. So I think next year when you host Jazz and Bloom, whichever they're gonna go, I this is what I want you to do. I want you to have like a keyboard on the side, oh. and then like incorporate yes. the keyboard playing mm -hmm. with, yeah, and then you could like sing your announcements and be like, here what I do, like to a background. I think that would be great. I think I can do that. I will make sure because Leah has recommended it. I will make sure that that happens for you next year. First from me, son. Jazz and Bloom ignited 2.0. <laughs> 2015. <laughs> ah, jazz day. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be really good. I think next year we're going to get the opportunity like this here to feature some more people. Actually, hopefully we'll get you to sing. I was wondering where someone was going to say it. Uh -huh, because we have the wonderful artist that is Miss Leah Enius. I think she's going to do a great job. Let's make that happen. I'll put that out there in the air. Hopefully somebody will grab it down and make it happen. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So, uh, J.D. asked me not to ask him any hard questions, oh. but since it's Father's Day, when you going to be a daddy? Um, pray for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> a... Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to answer that. Not at all. Not at all. Thank you, Leah, for putting me on the spot. Any time. Thank you. Anyway, so, uh, who you been hanging out with, J.D.? I've been hanging out with Caraboom.com. <laughs> Standing here at caraboom.com at Jazz in Bloom Ignited with some visitors, international visitors. Yay! So uh, tell me your names. Uh, I'm Ella. I'm Jennifer. So Ella and Jennifer are, let's, I'm going to just let them explain. Where are you guys from and, and how did you come to be here in the Bahamas tonight at the concert? Well, we're from the UK. Uh, we're both from England, but we have came to, to Montreal and we've met Anushka there. So we're both studying in Montreal with her. 
Brisbane. Yeah, and we came to the Bahamas to see her gig because she'd been going on about it for so long. <laughs> we thought, fine, we'll come to the Bahamas and see your gig, Anushka. <laughs> I guess we'll just sacrifice and oh, just come to the... It was, it was a tough decision, <laughs> but we made it. We made it hard. <laughs> it <was> for Anushka. <laughs> See, they sacrifice and stuff for you, girl. It's crazy. So, are are you musicians as well, or? Yes. Yeah, we're actually both singers. We're both jazz singers as well. <laughs> and so am I. This is great. I'm liking this. This is wonderful. Yeah. Uh, so, I forgot what I was saying. How do you enjoy tonight's performance? It was lovely. It was so good. I felt so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I felt proud. I'm not related, but it was it was wonderful. It was I was more than impressed. I kind I knew it was going to be good, but didn't think it would be that good. And it was. It blew every expectation I had out of the water. The blue, blue Bahamian water. It was gone. <laughs> <laughs> How did you enjoy the Bahamian musicians, the jazz musicians, and the singers? Ah, oh, they were great. I've just. It was so professional. It just went. It just. <laughs> it was just it was classy, classy it was stuff. Classy, definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very, um, it's very different vibe to the UK and Montreal. It's quite um, classic jazz, which is nice. It was, it was uh, something different for us as well. Yeah, it um, really nice. It's a different direction. I feel. And it's chilled and friendly. Yeah, it and was I like a really that. Nice <laughs> So tell me something. You did mention there's a difference. You said there's a difference of jazz like in the UK and in Montreal and here. So explain a little bit or expand for me. Um, to me, in the UK, they, there's quite a lot of um, experimentation with strange sounds and weird things, which I love. But And they come together in a different way. And in Montreal, um, there's quite a lot of um, standards and um very high expectations of a way that jazz should be played that's very straight but also that's it's still good and then here in the Bahamas it was much more relaxed and sort of free and yeah. very much like the audience felt a part of the music I felt which is a really nice feeling yeah nice. people were shouting and clapping when they wanted to and that's just <laughs> it just makes me really happy <laughs> oh, that's so. cool. yeah that's very interesting I, I'm glad about it so listen since you're singers <laughs> No. Oh, goodness me. No. <laughs> no. Sing it at Caribou. <laughs> Rub it up at butt. I don't know. This is going to be well. You can do it. You're a good scatter. No. <laughs> no? Sorry, we're hanging out with Caribou. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we'll both go. We're both going to do it. I'm going to do it too. Yeah, yeah. You go first. It's Leah E. I'm here at the girls. We're in the Hilton. And we'll, I don't know, whatever. I'm sitting here with caribou.com. Wow. But this time, do it seriously. <laughs> I'm not, no, we're going to sit here and we're going to do this. Like, I'm going to make, like... Oh, but it's not my concert. <laughs> That's true. But know. did you really fly all the way here to not just, like, get on the website, woman? <laughs> I'm so mean. You are mean. So <laughs> this is mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Let's we scratch it. That's okay. That's outshine. not me. That's not my concert either. <laughs> anyway... We're hanging out with caribou.com. Boom. <laughs> Caraboom. <laughs> We're hanging out with caraboom.com. Check it. <laughs> Thank you so I went to get a Jazz in Bloom ignited. I'm sitting here right now with Josh Lines. He performed last year at Jazz in Bloom and was 
amazing in red pants. <laughs> and so this year he is a, is a spectator. Yeah. So, yeah, so tell us about your experience this evening. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm telling you, when you hear of Jazz in the Bloom ignited, I definitely was ignited. Um, the performers were superb. Um, we had Angel Rackley, of course, um, Miss Naomi Taylor, who's like one of the mothers here in jazz. She was awesome. And of course, what can I say about Anushka Wright? Stunning, beautiful. I, I had it. I really enjoyed myself. It was pretty good. So you are a singer, obviously, and you, you performed last year. And how did you enjoy that? Like, how come you didn't perform this year? Well, I think um, Anushka wanted like more um, for more other of the, uh, I'm sorry, more of the other jazz artists to be um, exposed, mm -hmm. and um, or maybe because I kind of scare off with the red pants that I wore last time. I'm not quite sure, but um, <laughs> I think I think it was really a, gr a girls' night out, a girls' affair, so um, that was pretty cool. Um, and then I have a break foot, so maybe that, that that's what's the cause. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty recent though. Yeah, so I need help. Oh sorry. <laughs> so would you consider yourself a strictly jazz musician or what's your preferred genre? Um, I don't have a preferred genre. Um I've been introduced on my platform was with jazz and so you know I have an appreciation for that. Um but I could sing pop. I'm kind of a well rounded, holistic type of singer. Um but I don't want people to think like, you know, I don't have um a specific spare to sing so but I mean you know I have a love for jazz but I don't have a, a an actual genre that I actually like no not as yet but maybe as I continue writing and maybe when my EP releases I might have something I'm not quite sure I thoroughly enjoy watching Josh perform like he is just so it's like you in the audience like this We can do it for like 10 minutes just kidding. <laughs> yeah, man, definitely. but I really like your energy on stage like it's it's just amazing. How long have you actually been singing? Well, first of all, well, I feed off the people, and that's where my energy comes from. Um, I've been singing from since I probably was about, let me be realistic, I would say eight. I was going to say six, but I, I, I don't think I can remember that far. Um, and, I, you know, my would start in church, you know, me and everyone else. And um, it's been a roller coaster. Um, I actually did not like to sing. I was forced to sing. And um, I kind of develop it. And after I find out, to be honest, that, you know, you get, get some good money in it. And then, you know, you can pick up some girls or, you know, a lot of different things. And, you know, hey, I was like, okay, maybe singing could kind of work out for me. Yeah. You know, and then you get some perks along with it, like some nice clothes and stuff like that. You know, free access to parties and stuff like that. Whatever. So it's been a wonderful experience for me. So I, I'm, I'm excited and I'm glad I actually embraced singing. So I would say, you know, from since I was about eight. So calculate that. I'm not going to say my real age now. So it's been a little while. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you with the perks. Like, that's how I get into things. Like, I do stuff like host shows to get free in, to get into free shows. I host a show to get into the show for free. I'm a little what you're doing now. Exactly what I'm doing right now. Leah, use the trip. See what I'm doing here? Awesome. Huh? Yeah. It's yeah. Fun. yeah. Um, so, do your projects for the future, do you have anything? I, did I just ask that question? I don't think you did. Okay, thank you. So there you, <laughs> <laughs> you have some projects going on in the future right now, and you you you're currently performing at Olive's uh, Mesa Grill. Yeah. Olive's Mesa Grill, ladies and gentlemen, check it out on Cable Beach. Um, you have a wonderful set of crowd there, and uh, so we're trying to start a nice little buzz there. Um, I am doing. I'm I'm writing. I have some stuff in the making. Um, I have some. Um, out of town um, gigs that I'm actually doing as well. And um, I have, I'm working along with an artist, Miss Akia Knowles. Um, she's an artist um, in China. And so that's pretty good. And I have some other little things or whatever, some stuff in the working that I don't want to say quite yet. I don't want to jinx it. But a lot of things are looking really, really bright. And I'm very, very much excited. Um, I just was also, um, re I also received a contract um, from a company. And so I don't want to say it as yet either. So, um, Things are looking pretty good, so definitely, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are going to hear a lot about me coming soon. This dude has star power, son. You heard it here star first. Power, star power. I've been endorsed. So, okay, so tell us, um, what are your hopes for Anushka? Well, I definitely wish her the best. Like, that young lady, I love her so much. She's helped me a lot. She's so organized, and I'm so not organized. And so it, she she kind of she kind of worked for me. I kind of miss it, miss the fact that she's not here to help me. But you know, she's just a Skype, you know, a tweet, a, you know, tweet away. So it's pretty cool. I wish her all the best. I think that she um, she's raw talent. I think she has the tenacity and she has the passion, and she's going after it. And it's not easy, you know, trying to find sponsors and throwing off events like this. And so I commend her. And I also, you know, speak for her, and I, I vouch for you know. 
come on, let's support our Bahamian artists. And no matter what genre it is, we're still Bahamians. So let's support whatever we do, whether it's singing, whether it's, you know, we have our own, you know, we're entrepreneurs and we're doing crocheting or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> support our Bahamian artists because it's very, very important because it's not easy to get up and sing and support because at the end of the day, no matter what we do, we still are proud to be Bahamians and we still represent our culture. And I, I see it going very, very far when she continue on the path which she's doing. And, you know, besides, she's me and you. Yeah. You know, so she's going far. Yeah. She's <laughs> are you sure you're not a politician? Well, you, no. 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 Um, okay, just wondering, because that was a good speech. <laughs> okay. so, well, you know, <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment all my life. <laughs> oh, Josh. I wish I could sit on, talk all night. So, who you been hanging out with, Josh? Caraboom.com. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. That was <laughs>again standing here with dennis and tina and adrian a part of the jazz band tonight at jazz ignited how are you guys this evening very fine did you enjoy your performance tonight it was fun yeah. where, where are you from exactly uh la oh okay. that's great so sun to sun that's great so tina where are you from also from los angeles and adrian where are you from camp road nice. bahamas camp road I love that one. So, Dennis plays the piano. Uh, you, you're a pianist. Would you say yourself sure. a pianist or a keyboardist? Pianist. He's a pianist. Tina's a drummer. Is there another fancier way to say drummer? You could say percussionist. Percussion. See? That's what I'm talking Yeah. And Adrian, you're a... I'm a bass player. With a bass voice. So, tell us how... I want to... And not to exclude you, Adrian, not just yet, but how did you two actually get involved with Jazz and Bloom? Uh, Tina introduced me to Anushka this year. Right. So um, she probably has a more interesting story. <laughs> right. That's right, I should have started with you because you were here last year. Right. You're, you're a recurring character in this production. Mm -hmm. I'm losing it right now. But anyway, so like, how did you get involved last year, the first time? Um, so I met Adrian through another mutual friend named Gashel who plays piano, and we were on um, a cruise ship together and came off the boat in Nassau and got to play with Adrian. Um, and then he sent me an email a few, about, I guess last year, saying, hey, I have this event with this great singer. Would you like to be a part of it? And I said, of course. Um, and then I came out last year. And then the piano player last year, unfortunately, well, fortunately or unfortunately, um, either way, was um, unavailable, so I got to um, recommend some piano players, and Dennis was available, and we were so excited to have him here. It was really fun to have him here. That's also, how do you two know each other? Uh, music circles in Los Angeles. That's awesome. mm -hmm. So that's great. So Adrian, you basically started this whole thing. It's Adrian's so fault. it's a, it's your fault. Yep. It is. It's Adrian's fault. So right. So you saw a girl coming off of a boat, and you're like, hey, you want to play with me? She's awesome. She's awesome. Her playing says it all. Thank you. Yeah, so Adrian, tell us exactly how you know Anishka. Like, tell us, I remember a long time ago, some years ago, where we were all singing, but how did you actually meet Anishka? Well, Anushka's mom and I went to school together. So Anushka um, came to my house about, what, six years ago, maybe five years ago. And um, her mom said, um, my daughter sings. She sat on my couch and she sang. And she sounded great, and she, you know, showed a lot of promise and serious. Uh, she's a very focused girl. So the rest is history. Were the nights at Babalu, like one of her first times performing with you? Yes, Babalu, Oyster Bar. And she was about like 19. She was 18. 18, <laughs> 18 years old. Because I remember seeing her, and I just... Ever since I met her, I've just been completely inspired. It's just been amazing. So, okay, so you've enjoyed your time here, Tina. And do you plan on returning if you want to, you know? Of course. Anytime I'm invited, I will happily come out here and hang out and play. 
Do you have anything going on right now? Uh, where are you right now exactly again? Still in Los Angeles. Um, I do. I have a big band project I'm performing with um, in Los Angeles on July 5th. And I play in a trio um, of an artist, a pianist named Kathleen Pineda, um, who writes all her own original music. Um, and we just released a CD back in February. So that's available. Mm -hmm. So, Dennis, you've been kind of quiet. Mm -hmm. But that's cool. Is that your personality? Sorry, Mo. That's your MO. Mm -hmm. He's like, I speak with my fingers. <laughs> so, um, do you plan on possibly coming back to Jazz and Bloom if, if you're yeah, asked? I'd love to. Anytime, yeah. That's great. So, you were like, that other piano player can't come? Yeah. Exactly. And are you going to enjoy the island too? I've been enjoying the island for the last week. Yeah, it's been awesome. Did you get First to. Time here. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Did you get to play anywhere else? Did you get to check out any other music? Uh, we got to play with Josh. What's Josh's last name? Lions. Yeah, um, and we had a great time. So you night. played last night yeah. at Olive's? Mm-hmm. And yeah. the circle gets smaller. So any projects going on with you right now? What are you doing currently? I'm, I've been traveling a lot with um, this guy Thundercat. From He's a bass player with Eric Badu. He's really, he's a great friend. And are you okay? I don't know if I'm okay. Can I touch her? Touch me, because that's great. I love her! Hang in there. Um, yeah, him and Jonathan Butler is the other guy I've been traveling with. That's amazing. So I'd love to bring him to the Bahamas. I, I would like you to bring her, too. Before. Yeah. Bring Erica. <laughs> okay. I'll see what I can do. Seriously. So, any hopes for, I mean, what do you, what do you, <laughs> what do you hope for Anushka and what she's doing right here in the Bahamas? Oh, um, she just needs to keep doing what she's doing. She's, she sounds beautiful. Sounds amazing. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So I hope, I hope, what if she asks you to come down to maybe do a workshop or something like that for the kids? Would you? Any excuse to <laughs> come. No. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. I'd love to help out too. There's a lot of talent here too. The, uh, yeah. Thank you. So who you guys been hanging out with tonight? Caraboom.com. Jazz people, uh, real mellow. Room.com at Jazz in Bloom Ignited, and we are here finally with the one, the only Miss Ganushka Wright. Hello, <laughs> how are you, Afro twins? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, Anushka, this is your second Jazz in Bloom in a row. Why do you choose to do it on Father's Day? Do you, um, yeah, why do you choose to do it on Father's Day? Well, it just, we were looking at dates in June, and it just kind of came together as during the plannings, you know, there aren't a lot of nice events for people to take their fathers, you know. Uh, after the dinner, it's like, okay, daddy, bye. You know, it's like, so, right. so it's a nice, it's evening, 7 o'clock, you know, you go to church, you have your, your dinner, you know, they eat, they crab and rice, they're happy. And then you come, get dressed up, and spend a nice evening with some great music and feel special a little bit more longer yes <laughs> that's amazing so uh jazz and bloom i knew it started last year um uh does it aid anything the what is there a, there's is there a cause behind jazz and bloom for sure i'm the cause <laughs> i am i am the original uh foundation yeah recipient yes <laughs> no but i mean you know i I was told, I think, that it was helping your education in Canada. Yes, yes. Uh, I went off to school for the first time to study music. Um, at studying in Montreal at Concordia University. Uh, so, yeah, I needed funds for that. I, I've been working as a full-time musician now for two and a half, three years. Um, four years professionally, but two years focused on it. So, you know... My income is sporadic, and I want to learn more about it, and I want to continue this and, you know, continue to grow the craft, but I need help. 
So that was, I felt like putting on a concert would be a great way for people to one, know me as an artist and also to know that I need assistance and this is what I want to do to show them, show them my vision, you know, because you can explain something to someone as you can be the best poet in the world, but it's a difference when it comes to life before somebody's eyes. So that's what Jazz in Bloom is. Um, a quote comes to my mind and it says, uh, we must lift as what we must lift as we climb lift as we climb so like you're helping someone up as you go up too so that's a, i can't remember exactly who said it but i just remember that quote and it seems to me that's exactly what you're doing because not only are you doing this concert and you're performing but you're featuring other musicians and artisans in the foyer before your show so that's an amazing thing and it's just a wonderful generous thing to do and also i think this year um they mentioned two causes, two other causes tonight. Yeah, exactly. You know, there I have a need as well, but there are so many other people that don't have outlets that you, people don't know what's going on, you know, and there's so many great programs out there that are, you know, it aiding, especially people in the arts, you know, and I feel like we have to get more of a message out there for people who are focusing on the youth and bringing about a good change, you know, so one of the projects is the accordion project, uh, you know, Diana Hamilton, uh, who was spent many years uh, performing in, in Paris, and she started a pr uh, project with uh, bringing back a, the accordion, which is a lost art. And one of the one of the interesting things she she told me about it uh, was that the teacher that she brought in, uh, and the children were in Cat Island. The teacher that she brought in spoke only French. So you know these kids were learning a language as they were learning the music. So you know what kind of exposure do our kids get daily like that you know what type of opportunities do our kids get like that so you know the the kids and they understood him you know so they it wasn't it was a win-win it was a, a double growth wow. thing so that's one of the projects that I feel like sh more people should know about and, and should try to support and we also have uh, my mentor Adrian Diagola uh, he started this this great thing uh, the jazz uh, Bahama Jazz Project, and one of the, uh, well, the group that's under that, he has a great, magnificent, brilliant group of young boys uh, who he plays with called the Jazz Cats, uh, 12, 15 young guys playing jazz like, like, oh my God, like they're, like their spirits are like from old guys that just are reincarnated. Honestly, honestly, man, you know, one, one of them is on trumpet, you know, we have a, the pianist and a, a young drummer and these guys are amazing. Yeah. And so he's mentoring them and he's trying to get them out there. And honestly, the talent is so high. And again, so it's like we want people to know what our youth are doing because there's so much good going out there, going on out there. And it just doesn't have enough exposure. And Anushka's sitting there talking like she ain't a youth herself. I'm saying, no, <laughs> seriously, this is, she's very young. I want you to know this. I mean, I, they can see that, but, you know, it's crazy. I mean, it's amazy. You don't look that young. You do. Why not? Who, I don't know. Who says that? <laughs> I do hope I look that young. Please card me. But, no, you are so amazing. You're very inspiring. You, you inspire people much older than you and much younger and your age and it's just an amazing thing that what you're doing where do you hope to see jazz and bloom go when you're even done with school are you going to continue with these concerts like or that would be my hope you know because like i said there are so many other programs outside of myself that need support and that need people to know about them so i would love to continue jazz and bloom i'm hoping that the following continues to grow people continue to learn about what we're doing and what we're pushing for you know the whole thing about jazz and bloom is we are we like to support people who live out loud who live jazz life it's not just the music but the whole idea of jazz the freedom the openness the the just jumping in type of uh, mentality that comes with that music, you know, and that that can uh, that radiates through any type of free expression. So I would like very much like to continue it. I we spoke to some of your friends from Montreal, and they were from the UK, but they visit they were visit they met you in Montreal, and um, they they said that they 
heard that, well, they know that music is different in the UK, jazz, I mean, is different in the UK as it is in Montreal and here. What's your experience in the in the culture changes? Oh, wow, yeah. Um, definitely jazz is, well, a thing in Montreal as opposed to here. It's such a small community. You know, we're a tight community, but it, it's nonetheless, it's small. A lot of people here don't really know what jazz is, you know, and uh, what I found in Montreal is you find, you find, of course, a lot more people that have a appreciation for it as just listeners, you know, not just people who, who play the music, but people who just enjoy it. So they can have a really nice conversation with just a guy who've, who's never picked up an instrument in his life, uh, but he knows what he likes and he knows great uh, music. So it's great to get encouragement from people like that as well. I love it. Anything else you want to mention that I'm not asking you right now about anything else? About, well, you know, tonight was a great night, but it's not the end. And we still need more support. So, you know, if you, uh, if you've, if you feel inspired by what's what's happening here, by what you've seen, I would encourage you to reach out to me. We're on jazzandbloom.com. You can email us at jazzandbloom at gmail.com. And I also have a GoFundMe page uh, set up for my for my um, tuition and fees in Montreal. So if you want to find out more about our charities, if you want to find out more about myself or the Jazz and Bloom, and Bloom vision, Please reach out to us and hopefully uh, lend a hand. Thank you very much. So, Anushka, who you been hanging out with, girl? Caraboom.com. <laughs> Thank you.